Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club, Naiti Agartala. This is Sinjini Roy from CSE second year and today I will be explaining you the question number 43 from A2OJ Division 2A Code Forces that is perfect permutation. So let's go to the problem statement. A permutation is a sequence of integers from P1 to Pn consisting of n distinct positive integers. Each of them doesn't exceed n. Also, the ith element of the permutation P is denoted as Pi and n is the size of the permutation from P1 to Pn. Nicholas admires, uh, adores permutations and he calls some as perfect permutation. So, uh, a perfect permutation is such permutation P for any i from 1 to n uh, is uh, true if it follows the equations p pi equals to i and p pi not equal to i okay so means pi can't be i means the first element suppose i is one then the first element cannot be at the first index okay and according to the second equation if suppose we have two elements one and two then one and two cannot be at their respective positions but they have to be exchanged okay so what do we what are we asked we have to print the perfect permutation of size n for the given value of n otherwise if it exists otherwise we print minus one uh, what will be given in the question is only the value of n will be given and we have to find out if the permutation exists and if it exists then what is it otherwise just simply we have to print minus one so let's go to the logic of the question so in this question we will be given the value of n and two equations we are given we have to check if the these are followed or not uh, so let us uh, check by using an example if n equals to 1 then n is an odd number that is n is not divisible by 2 so what are we getting minus 1 okay here see in the input the, we are getting minus 1 means uh, which is true because if 1 is n then we don't have any perfect permutation for that because 1 is the only element and it is on the first position so it cannot be changed so we, we will simply get the value of minus 1 so what do we see if n is odd means if n ampere, uh, modulus 2 is not equal to 0 we are getting minus 1 means if n is odd we will be getting minus 1 so we have to check two cases in our code that is if n is odd and if n is even what are we getting so simply if n is odd we are getting minus one see for example suppose we have five then the required uh, the, the numbers in the permutation will be one two three four and five now for your uh, according to the conditions given one is the first element and so it cannot be at the first position 2 is the second element 2 cannot be at the uh, second position so we just have to simply swap these two numbers swap the two values so what will we get 2 1 3 and 4 third and fourth we have to just exchange their positions 4 and 3 4 and 3 but for 5 we don't have any element so we cannot swap so 5 will remain at the same place so perfect permutation does not exist because the fifth element is at the fifth position okay so we will simply print minus one so for if n is odd we will get minus one that is done now if n is even if n is even then we can uh, alternately swap pairs of the elements in the permutation simply for example if n is four which is given in our question also input what will be the numbers 1 2 3 and 4 what do we do we simply swap the positions of 1 and 2 so we get 2 1 again we swap the positions of 3 and 4 we get 4 3 so what is the final permutation it will be 2 1 4 3 that is our perfect permutation 2 1 4 3 simple f f uh, like likewise if n if the value of n is 6 8 10 12 whatever even number we will just keep swapping the alternate pairs of the numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 whatever is there we will just keep swapping the ith and the i plus 1 index we will just keep swapping the positions of these two to follow both the equations okay uh, let's go to the code of the question 
so we have uh, we will be given the value of n we declare n and we take input then we check using if else for n odd and n even so if n is odd simply we print out minus 1 simply we print out minus 1 and if else is even we first declare the array of n plus 1 size because ith array uh, ith element will be at the ith position so array will be n plus 1 uh, we use a for loop from 1 to n because it is given that the value of i lies from 1 to n uh, array i equals to i for swapping another for loop we will take simply uh, we will swap the ith and the i plus 1 indices and then increment 1 we will keep incrementing for the further values of i we will increment i and then finally we just see out array i that will be our required perfect permutation so very simple code checking the third uh, okay let's see this example also so only 2 is given so what will be the numbers 1 and 2 so simply we just swap the positions of 1 and 2 so final answer will be 2 com 2 and 1 okay nice uh, fine we have to while writing the code also keep in mind the uh, spaces between that's why we put here this this okay check the spaces otherwise the output might go wrong so we have to keep in mind that also while writing the code let's see the solution is accepted yeah so this is my accepted solution i hope it is clear thank you